Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 second long, and duration is 20 second. And simply hit OK. Go to Choose Grid and Guide option, and simply hit on Titles section. Then press Ctrl Y to create one white solid background. Hit OK, and we will lock this layer like this. Now select your ellipse, and then uh, choose black color for this. And by holding Shift, I'm going to create one ellipse like this. Then select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Select the shape layer, hit enter and let's call it as BG, like this. Now select this BG and hit Ctrl D, press S and let's make this 90, like this and choose white color, like this. Now select this BG, hit Ctrl D, press S and let's make this 80 and like this and let's choose red color for it because this is going to be our mask so i'll select this hit enter and let's call it as mask hit ok and now we will create uh, one rectangle and we are going to choose black color for that so simply hit ok and we will create one rectangle over here like this select this press ctrl alt home and go to the align tab align it horizontally and let's bring this downwards okay and now select this hit enter and let's call it as base now bring this after this mask and select this base and in fragment i'm going to choose alpha mask like this okay then right click new and create one null object and make sure that this null object should be properly at the center and then uh, we are going to create one uh, ellipse so i'll select this ellipse and i'm going to create one ellipse so press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to center Go to the align tab align it horizontally over here then select this press p and let's bring this over here like this okay and if you want you can select this base and this ellipse and press p for position and you can bring this downwards over here like this okay so we will get something like this now select this shape layer hit enter and let's call it as ball and we will bring this after this null object now i'm going to select all these three layers like this base mask and ball and i'm going to make it apparent with this null object select this null object press r for rotation create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second and let's make this value 180 so now what will happen it will rotate like this now select those keyframes and we will hit f9 to easy these those keyframes so we'll get something like this now at this point uh, i want this ball should be go downwards but before that we will go to the start I'll press Ctrl R to bring my ruler and I'll bring one ruler over here like this for my guideline and I'll go over here I'll select this ball press P for position create one keyframe go to around two seconds and we will bring this downwards okay so press V and we will bring this over here it should touch over here go few frame forward we will create another keyframe and in middle of that I'll bring this over here now select those keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here zoom in a little bit select this move this handle over here and this handle over here this should be over here select this and this should be over here so if you see this properly we will get something falling like this now select all of this keyframes and by holding alt i'll bring this duration up to two seconds so if you see we will get this then this okay like this then uh, go to the start over here and we will select this base and mask and we will hit ctrl d and we are going to delete this uh, parenting over here like this so if you see we will get something like this now select this base masks too and we will move them over here we will select this base over here press p for position create one keyframe go around over here create another keyframe go over here and let's bring this downwards select those keyframes and we will hit f9 okay so after that if you see this now we will get this animation over here then we will select this base which is at the upwards i'll press p for position create one keyframe go over here and we will bring this outwards 
Now select those keyframe and hit F9. So now if you see this animation, we will get something like this. Now uh, let's go somewhere around over two seconds and we will select all of these layers and I'll press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as animation and hit OK. Let's go inside this and at two seconds I'll hit N, right click on this area and trim comp to work area. Then go to the main animation over here select this right click go to the time and choose time enable remapping over here so we will get these two keyframes and before this last keyframe i'll create one keyframe and i'll delete this last keyframe then alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so now if you see we will get this animation continuously okay like this and uh, if you see properly over here the anchor point of this uh, entire composition is properly at the center so we can rotate it wherever we want then press s for scaling option and i'm going to make the scale of this one to 50 and we will bring this over here such like that our uh, edge of this circle should touch the center of our comp then select this hit ctrl d and we will move this over here such like that uh, the edge of this should touch the this comp over here like this then go to around one second over here i'll select this uh, first uh, animation comp and uh, with the help of the open square bracket i'll move this over here now select both the layers press alt open bracket to trim this up to this then select all of them and move them over here so what will happen we will get the difference of this animation like this then right click new and create one null object select both the layers and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and you can increase the scale the way you want let's say somewhere around 150 like this then press r for rotation create one keyframe and as you guys can see our looping point if you see is properly at two seconds so i'm going to take a distance of let's say six seconds and i'll hit n over here why i took six seconds because two plus two plus two is six and if you see over here uh, inside this comp our animation is in the proper looping format at two seconds so i'll take a distance of two seconds to a plus two seconds which means four seconds and plus two seconds which means six seconds so basically my animation is going to be in the form of loop at six seconds and then i'll select this null object and i'll rotate it like on one one complete rotation so i'll get this and let's press s to adjust the scale so uh, scale so, uh, so it should not go outside the comp and uh, hit u we have positive rotation so let's select all of these two layers press r create one keyframe over here go to the last and over here instead of one i'm going to choose minus one so if you see this now they are properly falling downwards even if they are rotating like this and then uh, this is our final output and if you want then you can create one adjustment layer and then you can apply tint effect on it like this so you can swap this color and instead of black color suppose if you want to red color then you can give that too and you can choose purple color also just like this so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation